Hey guys, good morning. Good to have you all back. I really want to do some crafting with you guys today. Now, um, if you are new to my channel, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Margaret. I am from the Netherlands and I do paper crafting, junk journal projects, lots of vintage treasure hunting. Welcome to my channel. I must warn you, I am not my optimal self at the moment. Um, uh, also, if you are a long time subscriber, you have no clue what's going on, guys. I am linking the previous video below where I will give you a live update. And during the this video, I will give you an update uh, on how I'm going. On how I'm, what, how are you doing? Yes, well, I'm going to explain a little bit, but I do not want to get into the big details. That's why I'm linking the other video below. Okay, let's get to crafting. Let's let's just get our mind on some paper, some glue, and some lovely stuff. The project that I have in mind for today, I have lots of supplies on my desk. You don't need half of this. I'm going to be honest, you don't need half of this. It's going to be easy. Anyone can join in. You need a piece of paper, scissors and glue. That's basically it, guys. Okay, I'm going to explain what am I making, what am I using, and then let's start creating. I want to use large book pages. Now, this can be any sort of book pages, guys. Uh, encyclopedia, uh, an atlas, music paper i'm using this uh, book i'm going to show you as long as it's sort of a larger rectangle book page yeah even magazine pages guys if you're just starting out piece of paper um i would prefer it to be a little bit sturdier so no newspaper paper or just normal copy paper uh, a page out of a book page will do well okay i want to make from one piece of paper a large book page four pockets Four pockets from one page with sort of sort of closures or flaps or or something. Um, yes, so it's going to be. I think it's going to be lovely. What am I using? Well, uh, for for the paper, I am using this book. I recently um, did. I receive another one. I, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> My brain at the moment. I think I got this in Happy Mail uh, from a lovely friend of mine. I already had one. I have two. This is a beautiful book by Marjolein Bastan. You don't need this book, guys. And you don't need these measurements. Just, you know. Uh, but it has lovely pages in them. Just interesting uh, ones. Now, uh, we're going to fold it and flip it and do all sorts with this. Um, so it's not going to be a clear image anymore. But that's okay. I just love this paper. I love the images on them. It's going to be fine. So a large piece of um a book page or whatever. Then uh, you, need, you need scissors or uh, a ruler and a knife. Something to cut straight. Um, I need to mark something somewhere where I need to cut it. So that's why I'm using a pencil. We all have a pencil, don't we? Now I am using a corner rounder because I cannot do without my corner rounder. I want to round some corners. Not necessary at all. I want to make... Um, a notch for a pocket and also some circles for closure now i have a, a circle punch you don't need a circle punch maybe you are very handy with scissors you can cut a, uh, a circle but you could also use small squares or triangles or i don't know maybe you have very good cutting skills and you can cut a flower doesn't really matter now um i'm also using two small brads you don't need it you need glue you need glue. I would prefer a glue uh, that will uh, glue a small strip. Yes. So glue stick will work, but your pockets will be smaller. Um, I'm going to use my awl slash pokey tool to poke a hole for my bread. Not necessary at all. Not necessary at all. Okay, is that it? Yes. Now, for decorating, guys, I do want to have a little bit of decorate, uh, decoration on these pockets. Uh, I don't know. I absolutely don't know. But you can use anything you want. I'm probably going to do a little bit of inking um, and some, you know, bits and bobs. Some bits and bobs. Yeah? Okay. Um, I'm going to choose a page from this book. Yeah? Take a page. Any page. Any page will do, guys. And then uh, let's start folding and cutting and making something lovely. Okay, we're going to take the book page. It's going to be the story time. is going to be a little bit all over the place, guys, because I also really want to do some crafting. A book page. We're going to do some folds. It's good. I, I can give you measurements, guys. You don't need it. You don't need it. I'm just going to fold it in. Um, 
I'm going to, I want to have this on the outside. Lengthwise, I'm going to fold it in lengthwise, guys. Yeah. Okay. I just decided, I just decided right now, I'm going to do all the folding and such. And uh, in between making the pockets and decorating them, I'm going to, I'm going to share oh, what's been going on. I'm doing okay, guys. I'm doing okay. Okay. Now, what do I want to do? I want to fold this up, make pockets here, and fold this down, make pocket there with flaps. Yeah. Now, it doesn't really matter how far you're going to fold this. I think I'm going to fold it in about one and a half inches. Just eyeball it, guys. Just there, there's going to be a pocket here, and I want to have a flap over the pocket. That's why I'm making a small fold. There, have it straight. That'll be lovely. That'll be lovely. This is very heavy paper. So you could use the handle of your scissors or uh, I'm going to do a bone folder. Folding this in. Yeah. Okay. Now, this bottom piece, I'm going to fold up all the way to the top. Well, not all the way to the top, to where we fold it. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now. We're going to fold this one back again on itself all the way to the bottom. So I'm going to fold this back over here. Lots of papers now, guys. So if you have a bone folder, take out your bone folder. But maybe your paper is a little bit lighter and you don't you don't need it. Okay. Um, there's going to be pockets here. This is going to be um, the closure. Yeah. There's going to be a pocket here, sort of a secret pocket. And we need to make this into some sort of a closure. Yeah, that's why we need to do some cutting. Now, I'm going to take out my pencil. I am going to use a knife for this. But by all means, guys, use scissors. I'm going to put a mark somewhere so that I know where I need to cut. Yes, I am going to put a mark here. This is the flap, yeah. We just need to cut until the fold. You don't even need to mark it. I'm just going to mark it here. So we need to cut this open. Yeah, this piece over here. We need to cut this open. Don't cut anything off. Just open. Same on the top. So I'm going to mark it here. So you need to cut this open. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take out a knife and just, you know, carefully cut it until this mark. But you could also fold it open and then take out your scissors. I'm going to do it the sort of faster easy way so i'm going to put my knife in between the two pages well the two uh, pieces of paper and i'm just going to cut it up until well the fold or where we marked it over there see now we have two flappies also going to do this here uh, let's create some room so this piece here i'm going to cut A little bit further, love. There you go. There you go. So, we have two flappies here. And we have two flappies here. Yes? We're already halfway done, guys. Yeah, it's it's simple. Now, maybe your fault is on this side, guys. That could be. <laughs> that's, that's quite all right. Um, it doesn't really matter. Okay. Now, this piece over here, I want to fold to the inside. Yeah? So, this is going to be folded. On the inside. So fold this in. It will make the pocket entrance. Because this is a pocket. Pocket a little bit sturdier. So that is lovely. Yeah. Okay. Where are we? This. Where are we? Where do I want to put this? Um, num, num, num. What did I do? Oh yeah. This is also going to be pocket. This flappy here is going to be pocket. And this is going to be a closure to the pocket. Yeah. So the bottom flap. This bottom flap. I want to put a notch here. So it's going to be a side loading pocket. I'm sorry. I'm a, maybe a little bit all over the place guys. <laughs> Bear with me. Yeah. So this bottom flap. Is going to be pocket here. Now. Um, I'm going to use my uh, sort of circle punch to make a notch here. So there is an in um, I mark I'm marking where I want the pocket to be. So just taking out a notch. 
So this is going to be a pocket, but this is also a pocket. Yeah, I want the pocket to have a closure, but I'm not going to close it like so. I'm going to close it a little bit higher. So I'm just going to fold this in, this flap in. And I have chosen to fold it all the way to where we made the notch, guys. Yeah, it needs to overlap a little bit. Like so, have it straight. So the first flap we're going to make into a pocket and the second flap we're going to make into a flap over the pocket. Same with this one. I'm going to make a, a flap, but not on this line. So I'm going to fold it again a little bit higher. I'm going to fold it. Um, this says bat, actually. It's the Dutch word for bat, vleermuis. So I have a flap here and I have a flap here. Now we have not, we are not gluing it at the moment, but let me show you how many pockets we have now. Yeah, we have one pocket. Yes, with a flap. We have two pockets because there's a pocket behind here. That's two. When we open it up, we have three pockets and then we have one side loading pocket. So four pockets in total. Yeah. I like it. Already like it. Yes, we're going to do lots of decorating um, as well. Okay, before gluing, guys, I'm going to do a little bit more cutting and inking and, and such and making the closure. So um, I'm going to round corners on the sort of flaps, the closures of the pockets. Not necessary at all. You can keep them straight. Maybe you can just snip off uh, a little bit. Whatever you want to love. I'm going to round corners. Yes, I've been playing with, um, <laughs> well, I've been trying to get my glues back to life <laughs> because I have not been gluing for two weeks. Yeah. There we go. Do it upside down, love. Yes. So you see where the paper is. Snips much better. Okay. Also on the top flap. Again, guys, not necessary at all. I just want my corners to be rounded. Yep. Okay. I need to sort of make a, a closure. Um, and you can do this in all sorts of ways. Maybe you want to have some Velcro dots to, to close them or wind some string around. I want to... Make some sort of circle closures. I'm going to use brads for this, guys. Not necessary at all. You could just glue them. Now, I want to make some circles, some small circles. You can make them from uh, one, one from this paper, but I need them to be a little bit sturdier. So I am going to use a scrap piece of paper. Yeah. Um, and then uh, sort of double it up, double it up. So it will be a little bit sturdier. So I'm going to get out some scraps. To punch a lovely small hole, uh, small hole, small circle. So we're going to make two cir circles. Let me get some scraps and make some circles. I just have a small piece of uh, another book page, and then I was thinking maybe I want the top of the circle, like the the surface, to have sort of a piece of a label. So I took out my labels. Uh, well, some of them because I have a gazillion labels. You all know that. And uh, and I was going through my small labels from Michelle, and I was like, why, why? Do you need to make a circle? Because this is also a fantastic closure. See? You don't need a circle punch. So I'm actually not going to use a circle punch. Do Put this away, love. People are going to be scared for you. <laughs> you could use this. Now, this is printed on 160 or 180 grams. And I think that'll do. That'll do. It, that is sort of sturdy enough. So I'm just going to take out two labels. Yeah? Um, I don't have the exact, I probably don't have the exact same ones because I own, uh, only printed this out once, but that's okay. Uh, what is it that we want? Oh, that's a big one. It is cute though. But will this hold? Will this hold? Mm, don't know. I don't know. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to do this one. Why not? Oh. Yeah. Do we like it? I think we do. Now, um, do I want to back this? I think I want to back it, guys. Yeah. So I am going to um, glue this on here. I want them to be a little bit sturdy because I want to use it again and again, uh, the, the flaps. Uh, you could use um, this glue or just any other glue. 
I'm changing my mind all the time. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> That's okay. I'm allowed to because I'm a woman. There you go. Well, or so I keep telling my husband. No, I can change my mind. That's what we do. We, as women, we change our minds. There's going to be a lot of... Well, that's okay. So, I'm just going to glue them on. For now, yes. I need to let them dry. Then I'm going to cut them out. Yeah. Uh, in the meantime, do we want some inking? A little bit? I took out frayed burlap. Now, this paper... Um, looks aged it's not because that is also uh, it's printed on the paper that it will look a little bit aged so uh, but it's a very light color i've taken out fade burlap changed my mind again oh my gosh you're changing your mind every 10 seconds love that's okay <laughs> taking out tea dye because i want to um keep it in with the english love english today um with the color that's already on here so light color while I'm letting this dry. See, I'm just accentuating the flaps a little bit. So I'm just going to do a little bit of inking. There we go. While I'm at it, I'm going to ink a little bit over here. And over. don't overdo it, love. Yes, this flap. You can make these into um, a, a theme, like a travel journal. Use a map. That'll be lovely. Or, well, this is more like for a nature journal. Whatever you want, lovies. Notchy. Also, behind the notchy. Do you want some more? Yes, over here. A little bit over here. Did we do everything? You could even make it into five pockets, guys. Yes. Glue it on a page. Like so. Glue it here and here. Or then you have another pocket. Yeah. Or, you know. Or don't. Okay, guys. I'm going to cut these out. Yes. Well, this will take me a while. <laughs> and I'm going to ink uh, these. And then we're going to sort of attach them. And I'm going to tell you how to attach them with either glue or the brads. Well, there they are. I inked all around them. Again, with just with tea dye. So I'm going to do um, uh, two types. I'm going to have this one on with the brads. And I'm just going to use glue on this one. It's going to be very simple, guys. Let's start with this one. Now, um, the best thing to do is to have one third of the flap as the sort of the closure. Yeah, that you can... Um, Put this behind yeah so i need to glue almost like two-thirds of this i'm just gonna put some glue on i'm using uh barely art for this but you could even use glue stick for this yeah have it sort of in the middle eyeballing it see almost sort of two-thirds are going to be glued down to the page underneath and then the one the the part the one third that we're not gluing is going to function as sort of a, a tuck where you can put this behind uh, is, am i straight <laughs> do i have this straight yes stop babbling just you know yes i'm going to cover up the this lovely word that says bad yeah that it is what it is yeah um you could just glue this down in the same manner, guys. I just think this will look lovely with, with some brads. So I'm going to have it like so. Yeah. Taking out my all. I'm going to punch a little um, a small hole. Now the hole will go through this layer, this layer, and probably the layer underneath. That's okay. I don't mind this, guys. So I'm going to have a small brad. A little bit lower, guys. Yeah. Here and here. Yes, so I marked it here and here. Can I find them? Yes, so there needs to be a brad here and here. Small hole here and here. Yep. 
Yes. Let's get some lovely tiny, tiny brads out. Well, these are the smallest ones. Oh, I also have these ones. Yes, I'm going to use these. Okay. I'm going to put one through. And the other one. There you go. Yes. Now, in my case, because I just noticed just now. Oh, this needs to be open. Otherwise, I cannot fold it open. Um, the flap that we folded in, see, is going to cover the brats if I want to. And that's what I want to. Yeah. So, I'm going to put these in. Here. Oh, do it upside down. Yes. Why don't you? There we go. Let's have it the right side up. Here and here. Yes. Just going to fold it open for a second, guys. See, I'm not going to put them through this layer. Maybe this fold is a little bit shorter and your brats are lower than this. That could be the case, lovies. Then just cover them with a little piece of tape. Uh, I don't have to because I'm going to cover them with the paper. There we go. See? Covered. So that, uh, if you're going to put something in the pocket, it won't get stuck. Lovely. See? This is going to go behind here and the closure. Is it? Yes, it is. <laughs> and this is going to go behind here. It'll work better once everything is glued down. Yeah. Already lovely. Already lovely. Are we going to de do decorating after we glued everything um, down? Are we? Yes. I think we are. I think we are. So, now for the gluing. To glue the pockets down, I would recommend um, a glue that has a small sort of nozzle so that you can um, glue a small strip of glue, like barely art glue or art glitter glue, or just, you know, normal liquid glue that you have in like these small bottles. Yeah. Otherwise, it would be, the pockets will be smaller. Okay. Um, you can fold it open. I'm not gonna even going to fold it open, guys. This, I want this to be pocket. Yes, the top loading pocket. For this, we need to close this down. It is sort of self-explanatory, guys. I'm just going to put glue. Come on. Come on. <laughs> He's a little bit angry. Where have you been? Well. There we go. Just a small strip of glue. We also need to glue this down then. Yes, also need to glue this down. And there you go. All the way to the edge. So, yes. Just gluing this part down. Yeah. Okay. Then, this is going to be pocket. Yeah. This one. So, we need to glue this one down. And also over here. There and there. So we have a pocket here. If this is glued down, we have a pocket here. But well, we need a pocket here as well. So for this, we need to glue this part down. already um, been glued down there. Yes. Yeah. Now we have this flap. This is going to be the opening. So I'm going to put glue here. And here. Yeah. Now, this is barely art, so it takes um, a couple of minutes to dry or, well, seconds to dry. So we have a pocket here. We have a pocket here. We have a pocket here and here. And if we glue down on a page, we have another one. Yeah. 
So I'm going to let it dry for just a second. I don't even think it needs um, a lot more decorating. I actually like it as the way it is. I'm going to add some pieces. So uh, let me think about the pieces. And in the meantime, guys, I'm going to um, talk a little bit about uh, what's been going on and me and, and thanking a lot of you guys. If you're not interested in me <laughs> sort of thanking you guys, uh, well, skip to the next chapter. Chapter. How am I doing? I am doing okay, guys. I am, it, it's, it's a big surprise to me. I'm having a good day. Let's just say I'm having a good day. I'm doing okay. In case you have absolutely no clue what's been going on. My mom passed uh, August 27th. So uh, a couple of days ago, well, weeks ago. Um, very suddenly, very quickly, even though she was sick for a long time. She had lung cancer for almost six years. So we're very grateful um, that she could spend that time with us uh, i'm not gonna speak anything about how she passed because that is a nightmare uh we had her funeral last wednesday the night before we celebrated her life that's what she wanted she wanted a very simple small intimate funeral we had that uh it was beautiful we had some music we cried a lot we hugged a lot um, but the night before I made uh, a big buffet, we had lots of food because that's what our family is all about. There were lots of drinks, except for me, because I don't drink alcohol. I'm the black sheep of the family, uh, but we celebrated her life. There were 14 of us, um, close family and, and friends. And, um, yeah, it was fantastic. Uh, I am taking care of my dad, even though he can, he's perfectly capable of taking care of himself because my mom made sure of this. She taught him how to cook, how to clean, how to wash, how to do almost everything. Um, so I'm taking care of my dad more in sort of an emotional support way. Uh, and he's taking care of me um, in that way as well. Unfortunately, my dad has a heart condition um the day after the funeral we had to put, had, we had to take him to the hospital he's fine guys he's fine now but he had like a heart rhythm thing i don't know i'm not a doctor they had to jump start his heart they had to reset it and he's feeling fine now but you know it, it did scare me and um but we're fine when I posted my life update video, I knew you guys would reach out because that's what this community is all about. We support each other. Um, when someone's having a, a, going through a rough time, like losing someone or a divorce or what have you, we just support each other. I've seen it happen on, on different channels. I do it myself when someone's in, in need. Just, you know, leave a lovely comment, try to help them. What I did not know is that there were so many of you reaching out. On that video, I have over 1300 comments and, and still counting, and that's just YouTube. Also on my Instagram, via my email, I got some lovely, lovely cards from some lovely uh, ladies that um, I shared uh, some Happy Meal swaps with and such. I have not gotten around to answering all of them because A, there are too many of them, and B, you guys are sharing so much with me and I appreciate it so much. Your own grief, your own loss, lots of kisses and hugs and condolences and, and prayers and such. I read all of them. Normally what I do, I answer um, every sort of comment with another comment because I just like the interaction. But it is, it is too much. And also, um, most of the comments I get, I start crying for myself and for you guys sharing how you've lost your own mom or dad or husband or what have you. Um, so I'm reading all of them. All of them are going to get a thumbs up and a, and a small heart. Some of them I, I must answer um, in some way. Uh, but know guys that I really, I really appreciate it. Every single one of your comments, even if you're just sending me a little flower icon or a heart or whatever you, it is amazing. Of course, there were also lots of fellow YouTubers who reached out to me. I am not going to name names because I'm probably going to forget one and I'm going to feel really, really bad about it. So lots of YouTubers. 
Um, but I need to sort of uh, mention Melina. Melina uh, lost her dad almost a year ago. So she sort of knows what I'm going through. Um, and she made a video um, explaining what had happened to me and such. She's such a sweetheart. Thank you so much, Melina. You and your mom are absolute angels. So I need to mention uh, Melina. Guys, thank you so much for reaching out to me. It is really helping. Yes, and I'm not just saying this because it's the polite thing to say. It is really, really helping me, you know, um, hearing your stories and, and uh, telling me you're praying for me. That helps a lot. And not one nasty comment in the bunch. I'm really, really happy that didn't happen. Uh, it is very scary, guys, to be vulnerable on YouTube, to pour your heart out. It is social media after all. And there are people that just want to hurt you. Not you guys, not this bunch. I knew, I already knew this, but you know, I'm very happy that didn't happen. Now, I'm going to be sad for a long time. I'm going to grieve for a long time, which is normal because, you know, she was my mom and uh, she was fantastic. I'm, we are going, I'm going to miss her. We are going to miss her a lot. I might mention her once or twice on my channel. I might give sort of an update on how I am doing. But I also want to use this space here um, to be happy, to be positive, to create, to rejoice to all, do all sorts of lovely things. So um, that's what I want to do. I want to do this. I am not ready to do five videos a week yet. I don't know when I'm ready to do five videos a week. But I'm going to do as, as much as possible. If I have a good day and I want to create. I'm going to turn the camera on. And we're going to make some lovely stuff. So yeah. In conclusion. <laughs> in conclusion guys. Um, thank you so so much. You have no idea how much. Um, this helps me and um, how much I appreciate it. But let's get back to sort of normal life and create. Which means let's finish this beauty. For decorating. Um, I love the sort of handwritten sort of font on here. Like it's been written on in, in pencil. So I do not want to add a lot of color and such. There are already two labels on here that function as a closure. So what to do? Um, you could, I could do some stamping, but it is a little bit of a glossy paper and it will take forever to dry. So I'm going to do some rub-ons. Now I have some of these rub-ons. Where were these from? Did I, um, simple stories. Yes, sim simple stories. Love these ones. Uh, butterflies rub-ons. These are the, uh, ones with the butterflies. So I'm going to use one of these. Yeah. Just put on, I'm just going to put on a butterfly and, uh, something, uh, I don't know, something, and a something, let's, yep, are you going to, I'm going to cut this, I'm going to pretend that this is a smaller piece, I'm just going to do it like so, why not, why not guys, there we go, with a tiny little bee, I'm going to put the bee somewhere else, Yes, lovely. What am I going to use? I'm going to use a pencil. For some reason, that works best for me. I'm just going to do it like I did when I was uh, in preschool. <laughs> when you had these sort of rub-on thingies. Yeah. I did it with pencil then. Works perfectly. There we go. Yep. Did it work? Yes, it did. How about the little bee? I want it on the other side. It's like it's um, supposed to be there on the book page. With the black and white. I really like it. Guys, I have lots of, st of stuff to share with you. Yes, just because my life was on hold didn't mean that uh, all the other brands were on hold. So I have some stuff from Sam Poole, some lovely stamp some uh, beautiful stuff from of course mr tim holtz yeah the halloween stuff um yeah i really want to share it with you oh let's have a big a dragonfly here yeah i'm not even going to cut it out i'm just going to do this yes the tim holtz stuff i don't know if i have the time to do a whole project with it but you know i do want to share it with you so maybe i'll do sort of a show and tell 
see what's up what's new speaking of what's up what's new um i've been walking around with this plan for a while now and i really want to start soon um you know just giving you an update what's going on in the community like a, a series of, of videos what's going on in the community and also uh what's going on in the crafting community oh that's lovely that is lovely shall we have uh this here or this oh, i'm going to have this here Yeah, like, like uh, what was I saying? What was I saying? Yeah, like, um, uh, maybe Rachel and Bella has a new uh, beautiful freebie. They, ha they have them all the time. And maybe I want to share that with you. To go check out the new freebie. Or uh, Mac Journals is doing a new uh, collaboration. Like Young Journal July or, or what have you. And uh, Mr. Tim Holtz has some new lovely stuff out. That's the type of videos that I want to do. Uh, because I really enjoy those. Hmm? What's up? What's new? So yeah, that's what I want to do. So do we want? Do we want? Um, maybe maybe one more label. Maybe one more label. Let's just see. I have these small ones. No smaller, 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 smaller. Do we have something smaller? Yes. Do we need something in the background? Yeah, going to have a small butterfly and this one and then, yeah, yes. What's with the rub-ons and the lovely smell? I don't know, these smell so lovely. I prefer the pencil method, guys, because you can also, also see where you've been rubbing. Yeah, we need to ink it. So we do. We're going to ink it for a bit. Yep, and then we're going to have this here. Yes, uh, something glue. Love glue. This is what you do with glue. You glue it on. Now I might do um, some more of these smaller projects um, in the next couple of weeks. Not the longer ones that are over an hour. <laughs> they will come back though, guys. They will come back. Am I missing anything else? I don't think so. Simple. Elegant. Yeah. Let's look at the end result. Well, we started out with one large book page. Um, and now we have lovely pockets. <laughs> Let me have lovely pockets. Guys, you can glue it on a page. Yes. Glue it here and here or here and here. Have it as a sort of a tuck. You can glue it um, on three sides, have it as a top loading or side loading, whatever you want. Or just have it as is, yeah? Put it in a pocket in your journal or fill it with lots of lovely goodies and give it in happy mail. Then I would recommend sort of putting something on the back, like put on a lovely label and, you know, do some more decorating. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. So um, let's, let's just see. We have a pocket here on the top. There we go. It will open. It will open. There we go. Yeah. Large pocket. You could put lots of stuff in. You could do, maybe even do some decorating here. And then we have a pocket here behind this flap. Yes. And a pocket here. And a small pocket here. A sort of a side pocket. You could uh, leave out the notch here and have it as a sort of a secret spot. If you wanted to. If you wanted to. I really like it. It's simple. It is elegant. I'm going to uh, probably get some questions about the labels. The labels are from Michelle at the Junk Journal Studio. They are called uh, Days Gone By or something like it. Yes, Michelle is linked uh, below the video all the way to the bottom. Um, she has amazing digital. So go check her out. Yeah. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yes, I um, did share a, a couple of more personal things. But that's okay, because I know you guys don't mind. I'm hoping to be get back again real soon. I have no clue when. If I'm having another good day, I want to make uh, more videos. Because it makes me happy. This really makes me happy. Again, I cannot say enough how much I appreciate you guys with all the comments um, that you leave on all my platforms. I really, really appreciate it. So... 
I will see you guys soon. In the meantime, be nice to each other. Yes, love one another, appreciate life. Yeah, I'm so philosophical, <laughs> I know. Hoping to see you soon. Until then, bye guys.